So as I mentioned, for cisplatin eligible patients, they're going to get cisplatin based chemotherapy. So cisplatin has a number of side effects, including low blood counts. So patients are at risk of infection or fever, hearing loss, nausea and vomiting, peripheral neuropathy, often numbness and tingling in the fingers or toes, or damage to the kidney. So who is eligible for cisplatin, as we discussed the cisplatin eligibility earlier? And for this, we use the Galski criteria, which takes a number of factors into account to determine which patients should get cisplatin. This includes the patient's performance status or how active you are in the day. Typically, we want patients who are up and about, not confined to the bed for the majority of the day. Patients need to have adequate hearing because hearing loss is a major side effect of cisplatin. Also, no major neuropathy, um, meaning that it's not inhibiting what you're able to do throughout the day. We also want patients with good heart function, especially because a, number, a bunch of fluid is given to protect the kidneys with this treatment. And finally, patients with good kidney function because kidney damage is a possible side effect. Typically, according to the Galski criteria, we want patients with a creatinine clearance of greater than or equal to 60, but sometimes the doctors will use discretion to go a little bit lower than that, all the way down to creatinine clearance of 40. But below 40, we would not want to give cisplatin. Here are the regimens for cisplatin treatment. One of these regimens is dostents and vac, which is a combination of four different chemotherapy drugs. This is a bit more aggressive of a combination, um, so we don't see it as often in the palliative or metastatic setting. Um, but sometimes for patients who have good performance status coming in, we'll consider it. It's given, a cycle is given every 14 days, and patients also get growth factor injections to raise their white blood cell count, so they're at lower risk of fever. The other regimen is gemcitabine and cisplatin. This is two different chemotherapy drugs. It's given every 21 days. The treatment days are days one and eight of the 21-day cycle, so patients will come in two out of every three weeks for treatment. 